Just tell me why you wanted to run for Congress. Well, our country is very divided today, and we need people who are going to be independent thinking and going to be able to work with both parties, and I'm that person who going to put my interests on the side and put the interests of our country first. What do you think, whether it's from your background or your experience, that you bring to the table that you think is unique or other candidates don't? I'm a front person. I say what I think, and I don't care if you have power or not. I make people uncomfortable. And I think that's something that you need in Washington, to make people uncomfortable, to ask the hard question, and to set what, who you are and what you think about it, and I'm that person. Um, what are the key issues you want to highlight in this race that you think are most important? For me, working family. I think in this country we forget about working family. We need to raise the poverty level in the United States is too low. We have people who are now making $15 an hour and don't qualify for child care. And I think that's not fair. We raised the minimum wage. I was the one who raised the minimum wage in Rhode Island. And now I thought it was we're doing bad, uh, good for them. And now I figured it out. They said, you make $15 an hour, this family don't qualify for child care. How are they going to be able to go back to work if they don't qualify for child Child care. Child care is very expensive. Protect Medicaid and Social Security for elderly. I represent a district who had a many elderly high rise, and I want to make sure that those people work for so hard to get the Social Security, and they're going to be able to continue receiving Social Security. Housing is a big issue for Rhode Island too. Bringing bringing resources to Rhode Island, not just to bring new housing, but to fix existing housing that very in very very bad condition. Um, other thing that I will look in education. We had a big issue in the United States with education. But see, we don't invest in our community and we don't help children to be not coming to school hungry. You think a student who comes hungry to school is going to be able to learn? If a student coming to school and they don't have a face housing, a, a place to live, they're not going to learn. Then, one way or another, all those issues go hand to hand. Um. What would you do about cost of living? I know that's a big issue as well. Prices of things have gone up in the last couple of years. Um, what do you think can be done on that front? Well, it's, it, I, I really think it's right now we have to look at so many issues on that. Banking, we have banking issue. We have so many issues in, in, the, in the United States. And we have to find, I think the governor is taking the right step to bring the cost of living down. And I think we have to continue on that path to be able to bring that down because high it's very hard for everybody right now, no matter how much you make. Um, you mentioned, read a number of issues that you think are important, and I'm, I'm guessing people who maybe don't share that view would say that sounds like it's going to cost a lot of money to do those things, whether it's improve housing or pay more for education. Um, where would you cut or how would you find the money? Well, we pay now or we pay later. We have to make the decision. If we don't educate our children today and we don't provide the best education for them, we're going to pay later on. One, because if they're not educated, maybe they get in trouble, they're going to go to jail. If they not have the right position, uh, if they don't have housing, where are they going to be living? Then so we have to decide if we pay now or we pay in the future. And that's what we need to do. Um, I'm guessing I know where you stand on, on some of these issues. Uh, uh, abortion, would you support any restrictions on abortion access? I will support abortion. I think that's a decision between a woman and the doctor. I don't know why it becomes so politi poli political, but I, I really think too, they depend on the circumstances. If it's a woman defending her life, it's hard to have an abortion at late, I would agree with. But just for any reason, no. Um, assault weapons, would you support an assault weapons yes. ban? Yes, definitely. I don't think those would be the end. Um, Everybody hands. I think that should be in the hands of um, the army or people law enforcement, but not in everybody hands. I definitely, I would definitely support that. Uh, Joe Biden just said he's running for president again. Do you support him? Would you rather see a different Democrat run? Well, it's a hard question to decide at this time. To be honest, I didn't look into it, and um, I think we have to create more leader because what's going to happen in four more years? Who's going to be running? Then I, I, I don't see age as a difficult because I'm, not, I'm one of the oldest one running for office. Then if I said age is a, I think it had to be his capacity to do the work. I think so far he's been doing so good and I, I had to look into it. Um, 
this race I and mean, there's 14, 15 candidates in, in the race now. How do you feel like you set yourself apart? I, I'm guessing some of these people, especially from what you've told me on, on your policy and your um, what you know you consider important issues are probably are the same as a lot of the people in the race. How do you set yourself apart? That you can believe that I would do what I said I'm doing because I've been proven in the Senate that I'm a front person. I say what I think. I do what I said I'm going to do. And I'm not afraid. I'm not going to Washington to make friends. I'm going to Washington to do work, to work for Rhode Island. Anything else you want to add? I just want to say to people, I'm not going to be the candidate with most, most money. I can say that to you because I know that. But I will be the candidate with more, uh, with more volunteer. And I ask anybody who want to come and, move and, and help me to get to this race to please do it. And thank you. Thank you for having me today.